It's rare in the Democratic Republic of Congo to see supporters of some of the country's most popular opposition parties together like this. But here they are, mobilized by key opposition presidential candidates and others who have been disqualified from running by the Electoral Commission. The message in this joint rally is clear. They do not want or trust a new electronic voting system to be used for the first time in the country in the election in December. I know they have already manipulated the system by introducing these machines and having a dubious voters register. But if we are together in our rejection, we will prevail. They also question the validity of some 16 million voters registered without their fingerprints taken. Electoral Commission officials have said taking fingerprints during voter registration is not a legal requirement, but the voting devices are foolproof and changing the system means delaying the poll. It's not too late because in the calendar there is nowhere it mentioned that we have to use electronic vote, but we still have time to print the return, okay? It's not uh, uh, late, and we have to take on what the laws say. Those who attended the rally called for a united position. This has been difficult in the past because of political differences and personal interests. There are 21 presidential candidates, and the opposition leaders here have been talking about backing one against President Joseph Kabila's successor, Emmanuel Shadari. But they also say the priority now is to make sure that these electronic voting machines are not used in the election and that the poll will be free, fair and credible. Many supporters here said this is the beginning of something big. We are sure and believe if all of us and our leaders stand behind one candidate, we will win. We are already a step forward with this unity. The message was very clear to us that we should start behind whoever is chosen by the coalition. It's not about big names. It's less than three months to the election and efforts by the Catholic Church to get political parties and the Electoral Commission to talk have so far failed. This stalemate complicates an already logistically difficult electoral process. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa.